Fantastic. Okay, thank you. Okay, so welcome to this afternoon session. So it's a pleasure to introduce uh, Jacopo Estopa from CISA. Unfortunately, Jacopo was not able to come, but uh, he will let us know about uh, some geometry of the desired structures. So thanks, Jacopo. Uh, I would like to, to say I'm really uh, grateful to the organizers for this uh, opportunity. And I should uh, once again apologize for uh, not being there uh, in person, but uh, couldn't make it. Um, and yes, and I'll uh, say uh, something about uh, something called Cecotti Waffa structures with uh, reference to um, a paper by Cecotti, which is called uh, Special Geometry and uh, this one plant. And uh, as requested by the, the organizers, but uh, uh, I should stress that uh, <clears throat> I'm uh, very, very far from understanding the, the physics, and uh, I will. Uh, so I don't, I don't really uh, take sides on uh, the, the main uh, physical uh, claims in the paper. I will only um, point out some uh, some mathematical points. I use the language of uh, Cecotti Waffa structures and uh, TT star structures. All right, so um, with these qualifications, I uh, will start with something which uh, mm, some uh, initial structure, which uh, uh, looks a lot like uh, a harmonic bundle. So we have a, a bundle K over some base manifold M, a complex manifold, which you can think of as a demoduli space, as will be clear in, uh, in applications. And uh, uh, so you have this um, infinity bundle with the uh, connection uh, D and uh, um, data which look like uh, a Higgs field uh, and uh, uh, some anti Higgs field uh, C, C, tilde, satisfying uh, equations, PDEs, uh, compatibility conditions, as uh, uh, pictured here. And uh, um, so if you are familiar with uh, uh, the equations of a harmonic bundle in the sense of uh, Higgs and Simpson and so on, you will uh, immediately recognize that uh, uh, they look uh, really close to the equations that require that the X field should be uh, holomorphic for the <coughs> holomorphic structure defined by the zero one part of the connection. And then that uh, um, the harmonic bundle equations should be satisfied and that the X field is also integrable so that uh, C squares to zero. Um, and indeed they, they are very, so these are the TT star equations in general, uh, something that looks like a harmonic bundle, but uh, um, not without a metric in general, not necessarily with a metric. So what is, uh, what is missing is the Hermitian metric. And uh, indeed, if you include uh, uh, the Hermitian metric, go on a little bit and uh, require that uh, this uh, triple of uh, uh, infinity connection and uh, Higgs anti Higgs is uh, compatible with the Hermitian metric on the bundle, in the sense that uh, it's uh, the connection should be metric with respect to this uh, uh, H, and that the um, anti X becomes uh, actually the um, adjoint with respect to this metric, then you do get a harmonic bundle, precisely as in uh, Simpson's sense. So this is the the ground zero, the initial structure, and then uh, uh, you decorate this with uh, a lot of uh, extra information only some of which is really essential. But uh, so let me start with a rather <laughs> a slightly over overwhelming uh, definition, and then we'll see that actually it makes some sense and it simplifies a lot. So uh, Cecotti Waffa structure is uh, something like one of these uh, uh, abstract harmonic bundles uh, mm, with, with uh, a metric in this case. So a harmonic bundle, which is decorated with uh, uh, extra information. Uh, given by um, um, a real structure on the fibers of the bundle, um, which you can think of in terms of uh, a real sub-bundle or uh, um, equivalently a, a, um, a real structure in the sense of uh, an involution uh, kappa, um, which is a point two here. So you have an involution uh, kappa defining a real structure on uh, the fibers of uh, the bundle. Which, is, which of course uh, must be compatible with, uh, with everything. So uh, it's a flat with respect to uh, the connection and uh, the anti Higgs uh, is in fact uh, the conjugate of uh, the Higgs under this um, real structure. And then uh, um, H is almost, yes. Do you know what? Yeah, the, the bundle K over M, 
it's a complex vector bundle. It's an arbitrary bundle. What is it? It's a it's a complex infinity bundle with um, uh, yeah a vector bundle, complex infinity vector bundle with connection. Yes. And the uh, zero one part of the connection defines uh, a holomorphic structure on uh, on K. If we are uh, on a, one of these uh, DCC field structures. Uh, more uh, remarks, questions? Okay. Okay. Uh, um, then, um, indeed, uh, it's uh, uh, this uh, initial part is very close to harmonic bundle because. Uh, uh, we are imposing the uh, TT star equations. This is what it means to be uh, one of these uh, DCC tilde structures. But it's, uh, as I said, it's decorated by, by other uh, things, including uh, something which is almost uh, Hermitian metric, meaning it's a uh, Hermitian uh, form on the fibers of this uh, vector bundle, but it's uh, not necessarily uh, positive definite. It's uh, non degenerate, but uh, it could be with uh, other signatures in principle. So we don't precisely get a harmonic bundle unless this uh, pseudo emission metric is actually a emission metric. And again, this should be compatible with everything we had previously. So uh, it should uh, be compatible with the real structure in the sense that it's uh, um, a real form, a real valid form on the um, real subbundle defined by the real structure. It should be flat. Uh, so the connection should be metric with respect to it. And uh, again, the anti Higgs should be the uh, conjugate with respect to this um, of the Higgs with respect to this uh, um, uh, emission form, which is non degenerate. And the, the, the most uh, painful part of uh, this uh, definition is uh, a bunch of uh, uh, complicated uh, PDEs, compatibility PDEs uh, for uh, additional data of two endomorphisms. Two, uh, Linear endomorphisms uh, of, uh, of uh, the vector bundle K over the moduli space. Uh, and they should be compatible with uh, everything we had previously, in the sense that they should satisfy this uh, rather uh, uh, unpleasant set of uh, PDEs, with, uh, um, which express you know, um, flatness and uh, or, uh, or more complicated compatibility conditions with uh, all these structures. Uh, so once again, this is for uh, U and, uh, and Q. Q will be um, maybe the most important um, player in this uh, story. It's uh, the, you know, this Q operator is the, the one that relates uh, more uh, directly to variations of uh, whole structures and so on. But, um, okay, so I'm not uh, saying that this is uh, uh, going to make uh, much sense if I just display the equations uh, uh, like this and try to, to do a little bit a little better and convince you that uh, um, they are natural from a, a different uh, point of view. In any case, this is uh, uh, all this information is what uh, uh, is comprised in one of these Chakotty buffer structures. So these uh, these equations and uh, um, various operators uh, which uh, show up come from a, a, phys a physics analysis. So it's, uh, it goes on, goes back to very old work uh, by Chakotty and Buffer 30 years ago, maybe more. So it's what uh, pops out of the physics equations. And uh, maybe uh, before uh, we proceed further, further, I should uh, uh, go back to this. Uh, okay, so this is uh, the whole collection of data of Chakotty buffer structure. So I should say that uh, some of the, the heart of this uh, uh, paper by Chakotty, I'm supposed to say something about is that uh, you should uh, uh, think of these uh, CV structures as uh, uh, geometric objects on their own. And then uh, that you should think of them as a critical point of uh, a certain functional in general, uh, which is uh, uh, essentially the, the energy of uh, a, a suitable harmonic uh, map. So what Chekotti seems to be saying in this, in this paper is that, uh, okay, in, in general, these things are just uh, critical points of the functional, just uh, critical points of the energy. But the ones that should be really relevant for us, for, uh, for physics somehow, and should be uh, not just uh, uh, critical points, but actually local minima of, uh, of the functional. And this is uh, imposing um, rather restrictive conditions on, uh, on, on the CV structures that uh, are supposed to be really relevant in the story. For now, they are just uh, um, these um, 
solutions to, to these PDEs, which we'll see correspond to critical points of, uh, of some functionals. Okay. Ah, and yeah, and uh, there's a special uh, name for the, for uh, uh, CV structures and actually they do uh, decorate a harmonic bundle. That is when uh, the metric H is a genuine metric, you call them uh, CV plus. <clears throat> I should say that once again, um, uh, all this uh, um, presentation here, I should make it completely clear, is uh, entirely the work of uh, um, Klaus Hertling. So I'm uh, uh, following uh, uh, entirely is an uh, exposition of uh, the Chakotty Vanfa ideas from a, a very useful paper he wrote, uh, I, I think almost 20 years ago. Um, and uh, um, it's the reference for all this 90% um, of what I'll say, essentially, did a fantastic job of uh, exposing all this uh, uh, in mathematical language. Okay, so um, there is a uh, so I promised you some uh, more uh, uh, enlightening um, viewpoint, and um, it's uh, given by encoding all these uh, PDEs into uh, a simpler uh, flatness condition for uh, uh, a certain meromorphic connection. So uh, it's um, not a new idea that uh, sometimes uh, uh, complicated sets of PDEs can be uh, somehow condensed into a single flatness condition for, uh, for a connection. And, and this is precisely what, uh, what happens in this case. Now, um, Hertling uh, chose, uh, so he, had this, uh, he has a funny choice of uh, this a taste for funny names somehow in his uh, exposition. And um, so he chose the name uh, uh, Terp for these, um, for these uh, um, families of meromorphic connections that uh, are equivalent to the chikoti Vapa structure. So I tried to explain the terminology a little bit, but the first time you, you, you skim through, through his paper, it's uh, rather overwhelming. There are all these uh, funny names that um, you have to come to terms with. So uh, what is a term? So it's a, um, a way to encode the, the Chakotty Vafa uh, uh, solutions essentially. And then the, the letters stand for, uh, uh, so the T is for uh, topological or to historical according to, to taste. E stands for the fact that we are uh, uh, adjoining a variable, uh, uh, a, a Z variable, which you can think of as a twist or a parameter somehow, um, which is called, uh, so it's a, uh, it's a Z in the, in the mathematical literature often, and I think it's Zeta in the physics literature mostly, so it's um, confusing. Um, R stands for a, a real structure, P stands for a pairing, and W is a, is a weight which can be um, negative. So un, un, unlike uh, Hodge structures can be a negative number, but it's similar to the weight of a, of a Hodge structure. Uh, okay, so it's, um, um, once again, it's a, a collection of a few uh, things, but it's a little bit simpler than before. Um, and the reason it's simple is that we extend the space. So rather than just the modular space M, we have a, a C times M. Uh, with a bundle on it, which is now holomorphic. So we start uh, this time just with a holomorphic structure. And then it's decorated with uh, a flat uh, connection, which is supposed to have poles along uh, zero times M. So if this is lies uh, over the modular space. It, it has a, a, a pole of uh, order two, essentially, although the official name is a, a pole of uh, Poincaré rank one. Um, and it's a, it's a meromorphic connection uh, which squares to zero, it's a uh, flat. So similar to before, then we have uh, um, also a real structure, which is uh, coded in a real subbundle, and it's defined uh, away from this uh, slice, away from zero times M, and it should be flat. And then uh, a pairing, uh, which is not on the fibers of the bundle, but uh, it pairs, uh, um, uh, with um, a shift in the twist or parameter. So Z is shifted to minus Z and uh, the pairing is uh, um, pairs Z to minus Z in this twist or direction with uh, further properties of uh, uh, non-degeneracy, symmetry, uh, flatness with respect to the uh, meromorphic connection and uh, compatibility with the real structure. 
Now, the, the main uh, um, point about this uh, um, is, uh, is really the uh, flat meromorphic connection and its uh, flatness uh, condition. This will be seen to encode, uh, almost encode uh, all the, um, Chakotti, the data in the Chakotti buffer structure, provided we have uh, a further uh, triviality condition on uh, this uh, TERP structure. So the triviality condition is a bit um, complicated to state, but essentially you're saying that uh, in this case, for these uh, um, TERP structures, you have a way to uh, glue uh, one of them um, defined on C times M to um, somehow the, the, uh, a sort of a complex conjugate of it defined on uh, uh, P1 minus uh, the origin. And this uh, kind of gluing or clutching map is, uh, is obtained combining parallel transport for this uh, flat uh, connection together with the real structure. So you, you use these two ingredients to define a, um, um, a transition function essentially on the Riemann sphere to um, glue the structures uh, along uh, this common locus uh, C star times uh, the moduli space. And what you get is uh, um, um, a bundle which is defined uh, not, not just on C times M, but really on the Riemann sphere times, uh, times M. And now the triviality structure you need uh, to have this correspondence with the chakotty waff equations is uh, uh, that this bundle should be trivial at all points of M. So whenever I, I look at slices, at crystal slices, I restrict to uh, P1 times M for M a point in the moduli space, I should see a trivial bundle on the Riemann sphere. So uh, something that splits is a sum of, uh, of uh, uh, trivial line bundles. And, and this is a, a condition which is a, it's a technical point, which is really important in this story. And it's usually not satisfied at all points in, uh, in the full modular space that comes out of the geometry. It's only true on a, a smaller subspace, or maybe it's only known to be true on a smaller subspace. And uh, uh, it's hard to prove in, uh, that it is in general. And, but then we can come to the main point of uh, uh, introducing these uh, um, meromorphic connections. It's uh, hey, Jacobo, yes. This triviality condition is similar to the one that you find in the twister space of a hypercular manifold. It, it's, it's the same sort of. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, per, uh, perhaps it is. Um, we. Yeah, maybe we, you you can tell me more about this similarity later. I'm, I'm not sure uh, I know the answer to that. It looks similar. Um, okay. Um, for now, there is a, uh, I should say, yeah, for now, there is no hypercalor geometry going on in, at the moment. More questions or remarks? Right, so the, 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 the point for introducing these uh, uh, meromorphic connections was to to have a simpler condition, this flatness condition, which uh, encodes the, at least uh, most of the Chakotty Waffa um, structure. And uh, uh, is the following uh, theorem of, uh, of Hertling, uh, which um, states um, um, a bijection between uh, uh, Chakotty Waffa structures and these uh, uh, families of meromorphic connections, these uh, third structures, which have the triviality property. So uh, let me tell you just a, a little bit about one direction of the correspondence. So if, if you start from uh, the, the full uh, uh, collection of a Chakotty Waffa structure, and if you um, take the projection from uh, a twister sphere time, times modular space to M, this pi, um, you can construct uh, the holomorphic bundle with the holomorphic connection in this way. Uh, so it's just the, the pullback of uh, uh, the bundle uh, you had on the moduli space uh, endowed with this, uh, um, with this uh, uh, connection, which uh, is uh, displayed here. So you use the um, connection and uh, Higgs fields together with the U, Q, endomorphisms and real structure to uh, cook up uh, um, a connection, uh, which is uh, holomorphic for the, um, for the holomorphic structure defined by the zero one part of D. 
and uh, uh, which turns out to be to be flat because of the uh, CB equations. So if you have all those complicated compatibilities, then this is a uh, this number is actually flat. You see that the, the, the role played by um, by the weight is that it appears in this uh, uh, in this uh, um, extension along the twister direction. And uh, okay, you can uh, also give formulae for uh, uh, the other ingredients uh, uh, which um, appear in uh, um, one of these third structures, but uh, I'm not sure it's uh, terribly enlightening at this point. Um, maybe I should just say that the, the pairing underlying the, the third structure is, uh, <clears throat> is, uh, is uh, um, cooked up in this way by fr from the, the projection, uh, from the this, uh, projection from uh, twister field types M um, and the emission uh, um, metric uh, um, combined with the real structure. So there is a there is a for, explicit formula too for the for the pairing. Um, okay, so let me um, have a, a couple of remarks about uh, um, this uh, this equivalence. So it seems that uh, uh, in some sense this alternative viewpoint with the uh, meromorphic connections is uh, from some from some aspects. Um, more useful for uh, for physics. Uh, so let me just quote uh, some uh, some sentences from the from, from the paper that we're interested in in this uh, Chakotis Swampland paper, um, but which are supposed to be um, classical things or much earlier things. So, uh, for example, one thing you can do once you have this uh, um, third structure is that you have this uh, flat meromorphic connection. You can take its uh, uh, flat sections, which he called psi. And uh, um, these are supposed to be physically relevant. What, uh, what he says is that they are the uh, half BPS brain amplitudes. In, uh, in the case when, uh, the, when we are dealing with the uh, Chicotti buffer structures, which are actually um, um, a TT star geometry in a sense that will be clarified in a moment. So the dictionary here is that. Uh, uh, in, from his sentence, is that the, the TST star geometry is a special kind of a Chakotty buffer structure. This, what is special about this is that uh, it's not on some uh, auxiliary bundle uh, K, but it's actually defined uh, on the holomorphic tangent bundle to the modular space. And uh, um, what he calls uh, zeta, as I said, is uh, what uh, uh, Hertling's notation is Z, this twister parameter. What he calls nabla plus nabla bar is what we just called nabla, the, this uh, um, flat meromorphic connection underlying the, the, the TERP structure. And uh, psi uh, are, of course, just uh, uh, certain flat sections of this, uh, of this flat connection. I'm not completely sure which uh, normalization in this uh, one, one is supposed to. So I, I guess that they, 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 they have to be normalized somehow. Uh, but it doesn't say exactly in which uh, in which way. Um, another statement I take from his paper, which is also supposed to be classical, is that uh, uh, this twister parameter zeta in his notation of z for us is uh, uh, also also has a strict physical meaning. It's uh, supposed to pick out uh, a subalgebra of the full supersymmetry algebra, um, and. Uh, um, to specify that. Okay, so um, so now somehow the the the, the main topic of this, uh, yeah, yeah, for yeah. you, what you call modular space is the modular space of complex structures in San Calabria, or you also consider the formation of the Keter metric. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm not uh, for now. I, I didn't uh, specify any dimension or weight or anything. The discussion was uh, quite general. What he uh, in Chekhov's paper, he specializes to to dimension three. That's uh, that's true. Yeah, but you you would be like modular space of comp of the formations of complex structure. You or you you consider the full the, the, formation, of the formations of uh, uh, of complex. Uh, yeah, I guess an example would be uh, the base space of a family of uh, of Calabrians uh, of dimension three. It's an example. So in that case, uh, M would be the moduli space <coughs> for uh, complex structures on the Calabria. Um, 
in, you you mean whether the, the killer parameters are also in the model yeah. space? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, uh, as far as I can say, maybe in Chicotti's paper they aren't. Um, the um, for now, so, so for the uh, for the story I, I told you so far, mathematically M could be anything really. Uh, for example, in uh, in, in Hertling's paper, it's uh, the, the 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 focus is completely on singularity theory. So uh, the modular space is the is what is called the uh, semi-universal unfolding space of uh, uh, hypersurface singularity. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure if uh, M is, uh, is also supposed to see the Keller uh, parameters. Um, uh, uh, by the way, so yeah. the, the equations for the Tiki star geometry, they almost look like uh, equations for you know, variation of left side structures on, on a Calabi, uh, on a, the, 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 the variation of left uh, structures on the Keeler modelized space of a compact Keeler manifold of complex dimension three, uh, except that uh, instead of being valued in anti-holomorphic, uh, uh, instead, instead of C sending things to anti-holomorphic stuff, it sends to uh, holomorphic tangent vectors. So is there- a yeah, Yes, uh, I mean, uh, I suppose uh, that, uh, I mean, the, 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 you know, this uh, uh, crucial, point should be that uh, really mirror symmetry should exchange the two sets of parameters, right? Uh, so uh, you should have equivalent TT star geometries uh, uh, on the two sides of the A and B model. And uh, this is, uh, so uh, th th this, this full datum of the TT star geometry is what should be matched under uh, mirror symmetry at, uh, at a classical, so non, uh, uh, categorical uh, level, you should see a matching of uh, TT star geometries from the A and B model. Uh, uh, but is there a relationship between TT star geometry and variation of hot structures? Yes, I will discuss that. Uh, it's, a, it's a main topic. We will come to that very soon. Yeah. Yeah. So, so from this, uh, these CDVs, uh, uh, CDVs correspond to variations of hot structures, uh, as you will see very explicitly in a moment, uh, under some assumptions. Yeah. Okay, so um, so uh, yeah, going back to to this uh, um, is uh, uh, Chekoti Vafa structures. We formulated them abstractly, um, which is a very useful uh, point of view. But the more relevant ones should be really on the tangent bundle, and uh, uh, so that's uh, uh, that, that deserves a special name, which Hertling uh, chose to be Chekoti Dubrovin uh, Vafa CDVs. Uh, and uh, I think Chakotty just uh, called TT star uh, geometry. So it's uh, very close to the definition we had before, but it's on the tangent bundle. So you can require that uh, uh, part of it is a Frobenius uh, manifold. So essentially uh, it's the same definition as before, but uh, because you're on the tangent bundle to this modular space, you can uh, uh, think that it's a structure uh, somehow enriching uh, a Frobenius manifold structure with, uh, with a real structure in fact. Um, so I take for granted the definition of Frobenius manifold because my time is, uh, is limited and uh, uh, move on to the extra uh, things you have. You have this real structure kappa and uh, um, compatibility conditions. So um, for example, uh, if you use the um, holomorphic uh, symmetric bilinear form of the Frobenius manifold uh, combined with the real structure, you should get uh, a emission form which is, uh, may or may not be positive definite, depending on uh, your luck. Um, you get uh, uh, the, the Higgs field underlying the Chakotay buffer structure should really come from uh, the multiplication in the Fabinius manifold. The identity and Euler field of uh, the Fabinius manifold should be uh, compatible with, the, with, the, with this new metric uh, as uh, displayed. Um, the conformal dimension um, of your Frobenius manifold should be real. The, the, the number defined by this equation should be real. And the main point is uh, not all that comes before, but really the flatness condition for this uh, um, Chakotay buffer connection as before. So, um, um, this, this is precisely the, the, the general condition we have on a Chakotay buffer structure. All right, so once again, um, these uh, 
uh, Chekoti Dubrovin Waffa structures, so on the tangent bundle, uh, can also be uh, characterized by uh, something, some, some special class of terms, some special class of families of meromorphic connections. So it's a, uh, it's a specialization and a refinement somehow on, of the correspondence we, we had before. Um, so uh, what we need now is that this uh, uh, terp-like structure is uh, um, a little bit more uh, um, refined. So uh, in particular, uh, part of it, so the part which involves uh, um, NABLA and the padding should be uh, of a suitable type, which is called Frobenius type. Um, another, name, another name that uh, Hertling uses also LEP or uh, trivial, trivialized LEP. But in any case, it's a, um, once again, a structure which is entirely uh, encoded by um, a flatness condition for a meromorphic connection, which now takes this uh, different form. So part of this uh, uh, family of flat connections, the part which is um, um, obtained by um, some discard in the real structure should be it should be possible to write it in this in this uh, special form. And out of this, you will get the datum of the Frobenius manifold. And then the rest of the structure, which involves the real structure, should be uh, exactly as before a, a trivial a, a third structure with a triviality property. Out of this, then. Uh, you can construct a uh, uh, Chekoti Dubrovin buffer structure. So, this uh, TT star geometry, this, uh, if you prefer, this Chekoti buffer structure on the tangent bundle. So, the difference between uh, the two, so the, the, between the abstract uh, case and this, uh, the case of the tangent bundle of the moduli space, is uh, measured by, this, uh, well, by these two conditions on uh, the, the term structure, but most importantly by, by point three. So the fact that uh, uh, the, the abstract bundle that you're dealing with uh, should be uh, the same as the tangent bundle uh, in the sense that it should be um, a module over the tangent bundle, which is generated by a, by a single uh, section. Um, and these are the conditions that uh, Hertling worked out for, uh, for uh, um, for passing from the Chekoti Waffa structure on the holomorphic, uh, on the auxiliary bundle K to the tangent bundle. It's precisely the, the condition, the equations that should exist uh, a section such that uh, uh, composing with the uh, Higgs field uh, spans your uh, abstract bundle, the section should be flat and it should be homogeneous with respect to this uh, uh, endomorphism that, uh, that you get from uh, the Frobenius type structure homogeneous uh, in the sense that it satisfies this, uh, this um, it's, a, it's an eigenvalue of this uh, uh, operator V with uh, um, an eigenvalue which is an eigenvector with eigenvalue uh, essentially given by the conformal dimension divided by two. And then uh, the, the statement is precisely that if you have this uh, abstract data, you will get uh, a uh, TT star geometry, a Chekoti Dubrovin buffer structure on the tangent bundle. So the, we should keep in mind that the difference between the abstract case and the, the case of the tangent bundle is uh, essentially measured by these, uh, these conditions uh, here on the section and uh, uh, on the form of the, um, of the meromorphic connections. So uh, to be maybe a little bit more uh, concrete, I can, uh, I can tell you how uh, Various uh, uh, ingredients are realized in this case of the tangent bundle. For example, the um, uh, if you want to read off the um, the product of the Frobenius manifold from the abstract uh, Chikoti buffer structure, you can do it uh, by the Higgs field. It's the first equation in this um, in this set. The identity of the Frobenius manifold uh, is also encoded by this uh, by the Higgs bundle of the abstract uh, Chikoti buffer structure. And the, uh, the endomorphisms, these uh, values uh, u, q, v's, and so on, are also uh, expressible in terms of the, uh, of the various ingredients of the Frobenius structure, uh, structure and the, the connection. So you see, for example, that the difference between the q and v operators is, uh, is all, uh, uh, all about the difference between the holomorphic uh, flat connection uh, nabla and the non-holomorphic C-infinity connection d. 
So we should keep in mind these, uh, some of these two correspondences between, uh, uh, on the one hand, uh, um, Cecotti Vafa structures and uh, families of meromorphic connections, and then this uh, uh, more refined uh, application, somehow where you consider the case of the tangent bundle and work out uh, under what conditions you can uh, pull back from uh, uh, an abstract bundle to the tangent bundle. Okay, so uh, this is all very, uh, essentially just a very long list of definitions and uh, a few properties. Uh, so uh, how is this stuff really uh, appearing in geometry and presumably also in physics? Um, so uh, one source of these uh, structures is uh, enumerative geometry, which uh, we know very well. And maybe I will have some comments uh, on this at the very end of the talk, which is uh, some of the reason why uh, sometime I go together with Mario and. Um, other people I became interested in these um, structures. And then other sources, uh, uh, related sources, Hodge theory, which I think is uh, one of the main topics of this uh, um, second part of your school, uh, you know, this conference, and uh, uh, which will, I, I, I understand will be discussed by, by major experts. So um, I'm not, certainly not going to compete with them to, uh, on Hodge theory, what they can do is to um, instead somehow uh, with the language we've developed up to this point, I can try to um, um, tell you about some statements in the Chakotis Swampson's paper, um, which are formulated in this uh, uh, language of TT star geometry rather than Hodge theory, which uh, he also uses uh, as a language uh, um, for most of the paper. Okay, so. Um, Let's see um, what is uh, uh, the correspondence with Hodge theory, at least one of the correspondences with Hodge theory. So let me start with the, the most uh, classical uh, definition of uh, a variation of Hodge structures over R. Uh, so I have uh, a, um, a holomorphic bundle over some moduli space, um, some, some space M, with a, a, a flat holomorphic connection similar to what I had before. And all the ingredients of the, the usual ingredients of the um, variation of structure. So the real structure uh, encoded uh, by subspaces or uh, subbundles or uh, um, uh, um, an involution kappa, which is sometimes also denoted just by conjugation. I have the Hodge penetration respecting um, uh, Griffith's transversality. And uh, um, these variations are uh, um, always uh, polarized in, uh, in, our, uh, in our case. Um, so you have a, a, a bilinear form on the fibers of your uh, uh, Hodge bundle, which is uh, um, uh, appropriately graded symmetric and uh, uh, it's, um, so it satisfies the usual property of uh, polarization in particular. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, positive definite in this uh, in this sense. Um, there are uh, other uh, uh, there are more uh, refined definition of uh, what uh, a variation of structure should be, which are also very important in this story. Uh, maybe we, they will make a brief appearance in a, in a moment. Um, and other ways to restate this uh, this uh, wrong definition in a, in a more geometric way. Mm, but let's stick with this for a moment. Then um, there, there's a correspondence between certain Chicotti Waffa structures and uh, variations of our structure. So, uh, in one direction, if you start from a, a variation of a polarized our structures um, with the extra datum of uh, some automorphism of the variation, um, then um, you can get uh, the um, you can get uh, um, a Chicotti Waffa structure. In the following way, um, firstly, you, uh, you decompose your uh, uh, holomorphic flag connection underlying the variation in this way into uh, um, half connections and uh, um, X fields uh, or anti X fields in, in this way. Um, the, the, the decomposition is somehow uniquely specified by, uh, by types. So the, the types are the ones displayed in. Uh, in the equations. And then, um, so this will give you uh, this unique way to decompose the uh, 
Gauss-Mannin connection, uh, according to, to types, will give you uh, part of the chicotti varfa structure. The uh, endomorphism U, which uh, also appears in the chicotti varfa structure, in this case is just vanishing, just supposed to be zero. The, the, there are generalizations, we'll see them in, in a moment. Uh, and then the main point is uh, how to get uh, this uh, Q uh, part of the chicotti varfa structure out of the uh, variation. The way you do it is essentially that uh, um, you specify um, how um, Q acts on uh, um, the um, Hodge bundle, the Hodge sub bundles of the variation. Um, and at the same time on the um, eigenspaces of this extra datum you have, which is the automorphism of the whole structure. This is the, 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 the composition. So it acts in this way on intersections of Hodge bundles and uh, eigenspaces. This specifies for you uh, some, um, some, some automorphism Q. And then the theorem is that uh, um, the data you get in this way out of the variation of one structure satisfies uh, the uh, abstract Chekhotiv alpha equations. And moreover, the corresponding um, metric H is actually a metric. It's a, it's a positive definite, not just uh, not degenerate. So this is uh, uh, one direction of the correspondence and it's one uh, geometric source of this uh, Chekhotiv alpha structure, right? You can start with the family of uh, complex manifolds, uh, or more generally, indeed, with uh, an abstract variation of our structure and get the corresponding Chekhotiv Waffa structure in this way. And the, the other direction is uh, um, from Chekhotiv Waffa to variations. Um, it works under some uh, assumptions on the Chekhotiv Waffa structure. Clearly, it needs to be uh, positive definite. There, is a, there are some um, constraints on, uh, on the spectrum of the corresponding operator Q. But then, uh, we essentially, we're just reversing uh, the arrows in the, in the previous lemma. So we get uh, uh, the, the, the Gauss-Mannin uh, from this uh, decomposition, from these uh, ingredients of the chicotti alpha structure, and so on, reversing the arrows we, we had uh, previously, essentially. All right, so I need to speed up, perhaps, uh, a little bit, but we uh, we uh, we're, uh, I think we're doing, doing quite well. Okay. Um, so this is, uh, as you see, this is a bit restrictive. Uh, uh, well, uh, mainly because uh, in, this, uh, in this case, uh, um, the correspondence works uh, under the, the, the assumption, if I go back, that this uh, uh, endomorphism U in the Chakotiv alpha structure should be zero, should be vanishing. And uh, I think this is what uh, in his paper Chicotti, I guess, classically calls uh, uh, the conformality condition, the condition of being conformal. Uh, but uh, mm, actually, uh, there are uh, correspondences that also work uh, uh, if u is not really zero, but in more general cases. For example, in, uh, in uh, Herschel's uh, old work, um, there is part of a correspondence. Um, which works uh, in the case when this uh, uh, u is not really zero, but just uh, uh, near potent. And uh, um, to take care of that, you need to extend from uh, uh, Hodge structures to mixed Hodge structures, um, which is uh, the case relevant for him because he's dealing with um, deformations of uh, singularities. And I guess uh, probably uh, it's been extended a lot since then, and I'm not, not an expert on uh, singularity theory, so I expect that much more will be known from, uh, from more recent works. Okay, so uh, now we have this correspondence, we can use it to understand, uh, um, to understand some, some statements in, uh, in uh, the paper by Cicotti. Uh, so the, the procedure seems to be the following. Uh, it says much more, it's a long paper, but uh, uh, so some of the slogans seems to be the following. So if you, you can start from uh, a Cicotti Dubrovin Waffa structure, uh, so a TT star geometry, um, like one of these Cicotti Waffa structures on the, the tangent bundle, uh, it restricts to uh, um, the, the, for him, there are restrictions on the, on the weight of these uh, Chicotti-Dubrovin-Waffa structures. Essentially, it means you're dealing with uh, um, 
if you think of, uh, as you see, variations over structures, they, they need to be of uh, weight three. Um, okay, so, um, and the point is that uh, <coughs> if you start from these uh, CVs or CDVs by the abstract theory we have, uh, if we have this uh, extra conformality property that the endomorphism U vanishes, then uh, we get a, a, a variation of abstractions. So in particular, this has nothing to do with, uh, with uh, the dimension. So the, the, the correspondence works uh, in all dimensions and uh, for all weights. So there's, uh, mm, I understand why Cecotti wants to restrict to some, to some uh, uh, dimension, of course, because it's a uh, physically relevant one, but the correspondence mathematically is more general. So uh, you start from CDV, TT star, uh, you get uh, under conformality, you get a variation of all structures with automorphism. And then uh, the, the main claim is that uh, um, these, uh, um, under this uh, machinery, so if, if the TT star geometry is really coming from uh, um, relevant physical theories, then the corresponding variation of our structure produced by these correspondence should be uh, quite, uh, should be more than what I just uh, said. It should be, um, for example, uh, defined over Z. Rather than uh, rather than over R in my definition. Um, so, in particular, I guess this point will be explained by experts who know much uh, much more than I do. Uh, but uh, the, the point is that if you then realize, uh, uh, you think uh, you usually do of your uh, variation of all structures as a as a map from uh, the base from the modular space to uh, a quotient of the period domain. Um, then um, you have uh, uh, the usual ingredients. You have uh, this uh, the quotient is uh, determined by the, by the monodromy group uh, gamma, discrete group inside uh, this uh, uh, symplectic group uh, G, which is uh, preserving the polarization. And then everything should be defined over, uh, over uh, Z. Um, and um, yeah, and, and uh, if, if this is the claim, then uh, you are in this situation and uh, you can. Uh, uh, apply all the deep results of uh, Hodge theory in this uh, in this case when uh, the variation is compatible with uh, is defined over over Z. So uh, essentially, the claim uh, seems to be quite simple that uh, if you if you have uh, among all these uh, Cecotti to probably vata structures which are conformal in this sense, uh, only those which have this uh, compatibility which which are defined over Z in this sense uh, that the corresponding variation of all structures is defined over Z should be really relevant. And then uh, you can uh, somehow, um, try to find physical interpretations or consequences of all the deep theorems of uh, Hodge theory in this uh, context. And uh, I guess uh, this is uh, really the main uh, part of uh, Cecotti's paper, somehow trying to work out what physical uh, uh, consequences you can uh, draw from this uh, um, uh, from this statement, this, uh, this expectation that you should be defined over Z. But as I said, there are, uh, um, there are uh, um, other statements he also makes, essentially this, uh, this point uh, uh, about uh, um, thinking of uh, uh, Cecotti Varta structures or, uh, or Cecotti Dubrovni Varta structures as geometric objects, uh, uh, which are critical points of some functional. And this is uh, what I will uh, focus on for a moment. Um, because uh, as I said, the Hodge theory will be the topic of other talks. So uh, let's see what, uh, what parts of this uh, uh, paper uh, deal with the, the TT star language more uh, specifically. So there, there's a, a section in which um, this uh, uh, argument about critical points is made. Um, Okay, so the, the point should be that uh, uh, you start from CDV, um, conformal, and get the corresponding variation of all structures. Think of it as a map to uh, the a quotient of the period domain. Then uh, the claim seems to be that uh, we should uh, uh, look at all uh, maps of this form. Uh, and then um, the, the one uh, coming from uh, Cecotti, Dubrovin, Vata structures uh, are critical points 
for the energy functional of harmonic maps, a given uh, matrix in, uh, uh, in the target, really independently of uh, matrix on, on M. They should, in general, they are critical points for the energy of harmonic maps. But the claim, his claim, is that uh, the, 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 the really important ones should not just be critical points for the energy of harmonic map, but they should be um, local minimizers, local minima, strict local minima, in fact. And uh, that then this uh, imposes conditions on, uh, on this uh, group gamma, on this uh, discrete uh, monodromy group uh, gamma. Um, the conditions should be that uh, um, it's, uh, it's infinite, and moreover, uh, actually, more than that, it's a uh, Zariski dense overlapping some uh, Lee subgroup, which uh, contains an, some, some the image of this uh, of this map to the period domain, or rather, it's a lift to the, to the universal um, uh, covering space. So not just critical points, but uh, really local minima imposes conditions on the monodromy group uh, gamma. And uh, the condition is uh, this um, uh, it concerns the, the Zariski closure of the monodromy group uh, gamma. This is the argument he makes uh, um, using this, uh, this point of view of uh, uh, Chekhotty buffer structures. And then another point he makes is in appendix to the paper when uh, um, which concerns uh, the point of view of uh, families of meromorphic uh, connections, which are uh, supposed to be important. They are, they are supposed to be important uh, because uh, their flat sections are uh, appropriately normalized. I'm not sure how. Uh, should be physical objects. It should be this kind of uh, uh, brain half, BPS brain amplitudes, as it's called them, calls them. And then the point is that uh, in, uh, by general theory, they should be just, uh, uh, they just should just take values inside some special linear group. But uh, mm, once again, his point is that uh, the ones that uh, for the Chekhotty buffer structures that are really uh, relevant in, they really come from physics, uh, there should be restrictions on the image of these uh, flat sections. So the image should not just be contained in a special linear group, but uh, uh, in, a, in a proper subgroup, in a, in a subgroup which uh, enjoys this, uh, this property, which uh, it calls a Manford Tate type. I'm not sure it's a, it's a it's a, it's a terminology or it's if, it, if it's really accepted, but in any way, the property is simple. It's that uh, if I think that this subgroup should have the property that uh, it's, uh, its rank equals the rank of uh, a maximal compact uh, subgroup inside it. And this is not a property which holds for SI. It should hold for the uh, subgroup which contains the image of these uh, um, flat sections, this uh, half BPS uh, brain uh, amplitudes. So these are uh, uh, a few claims that uh, mm, he makes uh, using this, uh, uh, this uh, Chikoti buffer language. Um, most of his paper actually uh, then uh, um, is just uh, uh, expressed in using the, the language of Hodge theory. So um, I tried to pick out uh, the, the pieces where um, he uses uh, the Chikoti buffer or uh, TT star geometry more. Okay, and, and perhaps in the very last few minutes, I would like to maybe go back to enumerative geometry a little bit and uh, indulge me for five minutes because it's uh, how I, I came to study this, uh, these structures a little bit. So if you remember, uh, we cited some sources of these um, CV and CDVs. And so enumerative geometry uh, is, uh, well, uh, more classically, um, such structures are, um, uh, they, they come from quantum cohomology, but I would like to, to say a few words about another source, which is uh, less, less known and probably less important, but uh, which uh, nevertheless is there. And it's uh, uh, related to Donaldson Thomas theory, which I think also appeared in, uh, in one of the talks, at least of this uh, series. And it's based on uh, some, uh, uh, well, quite uh, uh, some, some work with Barbieri, uh, Filippini, and Mario uh, Garcia Fernandez from a few years ago. So there, uh, the situation is that uh, uh, you, you're doing a, a kind of enumerative geometry called Donaldson-Thomas theory. And uh, um, if you think, uh, you can think of it uh, more or less as trying to count the number of uh, uh, stable objects inside some uh, category, which could be abelian or uh, triangulated. Uh, according to various uh, situations. 
So abstractly, what you have, uh, you start with uh, a collection of uh, numbers which uh, uh, morally come from uh, uh, the enumerative geometry of such objects on some manifold or some category maybe. And this, uh, this collection of numbers uh, uh, is not defined absolutely, but depends really on a, on a stability condition. Uh, in this case, um, for our, uh, the abstract approach just on a, on a central charge, or some, uh, um, uh, some element uh, in the, the um, uh, home group from your uh, um, lattice N, which is something like uh, a Gottlieb group to C. Then the point is that this setup, because of uh, uh, general properties of uh, DT invariance, uh, corresponds to a Chekhov alpha structure um, with some qualifications. So out of this uh, enumerative geometry, you can in fact construct uh, a Chekhov alpha structure on some auxiliary bundle, uh, on some uh, uh, appropriate open uh, uh, subset, uh, open neighborhood of a given uh, central charge. Um, with some problems. So the problem is that, uh, well, the, the, the bundle is uh, certainly not the tangent bundle to something uh, because it's uh, infinite dimensional. It's uh, modeled on the, the group algebra of this uh, Grothendieck type uh, um, lattice N. Um, but apart from that, you get all the ingredients of uh, a Chekhov alpha structure. And uh, uh, the main, uh, uh, no, the quickest way to, to to give you a flavor of the ingredients of this uh, Chekhov alpha structure is that the Higgs field is uh, uh, essentially uh, the differential of this uh, central charge. The U endomorphism is not zero for sure. It's, uh, it's in fact uh, identified with uh, the central charge if you think of it as uh, acting as a derivation on uh, the group algebra of the Grotten D group. And, uh, uh, most of the information is inside this uh, Q uh, endomorphism, just as in the case of, uh, of uh, the classical case of odd structures on this, is uh, uh, that uh, this Q is in general quite complicated, but at least in, uh, in, uh, in this limit, uh, the conformal limit somehow where you scale to zero the central charge, what you get is uh, uh, um, something which was uh, worked out by Dominic Joyce and it's called, which he called the holomorphic generating function for uh, Donaldson Thomas invariance. This is all quite formal, but uh, if, you, uh, uh, if you put sufficiently strong assumptions on your enumerative geometry, uh, then you can make sense of it uh, at least formally at the level of uh, a formal power series for which you can even prove some convergence results in some cases not uh, as far as we can uh, in this conformal limit, but in the opposite limit, where you scale the central charge to, to infinity. And so uh, in a large volume limit. Okay, so I hope I maybe touched on uh, some uh, topics that might be of some interest for participants in, uh, in, so in, in, in the school. And uh, I thank you uh, for listening and uh, uh, wait for uh, questions or remarks. Thank you. Any questions or comments for Yeah, maybe, maybe one uh, question and comment. Is it hundred uh, percent clear to you how far the Tchaikovsky buffer construction is away from hot structure construction? So it's I never quite understood this fully because it seems to me that like at the end of the day all the relevant information is just repackaged somehow in a different uh, language. Yeah, so uh, indeed, uh, uh, I, we've seen that uh, in, uh, in some cases they are completely equivalent. So let me go back to the, um, the correspondence that we, that we stated. So- um, But the correspondence was between uh, the Chakotty buffer thing as um, creation of hot structure with automorphism. And yes, that's true. Yes. Finds yeah. one more of a Brescorn lattice type uh, structure, which is richer than just uh, creation of hot structure. 
I don't I don't uh, hear very well. Chris uh, um, Card Lattice. Yes. Apparently worked on before, so I think that's probably the object. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. There's a, there's a, some disturbance, but uh, okay. The, um, Briscoe lattices uh, uh, indeed uh, come in um, as a, as far as I understand that they, they they are a, an important uh, ingredient in this other work which I mentioned, which uh, is uh, more to do with uh, mixed odd structures. So uh, if we want to stick to uh, pure odd structures, uh, I don't see how the the Briscoe lattices uh, come in. But maybe you know I'm certainly not an expert, so. I'm not sure, I, I, I didn't understand the comment very well too, so I apologize. Um, but coming back to the, the previous question, um, uh, yes, yeah, so indeed uh, um, Briscoe lattices come in if you want a, a non-trivial, uh, so if you move uh, away from this conformality, that's true. Um, but even then, um, um, once again, I should say, I. I, I not an expert, but I don't know of a general, uh, a completely general correspondence between the two categories of uh, so Cecotti Waffa structures and uh, uh, variations of uh, mixed toy structures. But maybe there is one. Uh, is that the case? I don't, yeah, I don't know. I it always felt a little bit like this, but uh, also maybe this is not true. <clears throat> well, uh, so these are subtle. I mean, these are su there are su subtle differences in some ex extent. Would you agree with this? Like, well, uh, well, uh, at first sight, uh, they, they don't look so subtle, right? Because this uh, U-endomorphism uh, can uh, so it's, it's an important parameter in the construction somehow. So, for example, in uh, uh, whether u is zero or not makes a, makes a difference between whether you're looking at moduli of uh, Calabi-L trifolds or, uh, or uh, of, um, rather uh, than uh, the formations of uh, singularities, for example. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, so it's uh, for example, in um, this, uh, maybe I should make uh, more clear that this uh, endomorphism u is really related to the uh, the, the, the underlying uh, structure of a Frobenius manifold. So it's uh, in a Frobenius manifold, for example, the, there's a, quite, a, quite a lot of difference between points where your uh, multiplication is uh, semi-simple or, or, uh, uh, or not, or, or maybe even trivial. And uh, so the, the, the theory looks very different at these points. And um, so I agree that uh, at, at, um, at these uh, special points in the moduli space, the, the, the structures are, are uh, very similar. Indeed, uh, in some cases, they are provably the same. And, um, but in general, uh, at other points, uh, I don't know, they look uh, maybe a bit different. Any other comments or questions? Yes, one quick question. So, yes. in, the, in the geometric case where you have variations of parallel parts structure coming from uh, the formation of the structure of a Calabria trifold, for example, do you know what, what are these flat sections that appear, which are counting brains or something? Is, it, is this known? Uh, yes, I guess it's uh, uh, certainly known to experts. Uh, um, um, so for us, um, let me think. I don't know how to relate them to the enumerative geometry of. Uh, in, uh, so I, I, they, they 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 must tell you about the enumerative geometry of the Calabria trifold in some uh, in some way, but uh, I'm not sure how much. Um, and I don't know exactly in what way. Maybe some of, some other people in the audience know. Yes, that's the case. So anyway, so thank you, Jacobo, for the next nice Thank you. Yeah. We're assuming a couple of minutes.